Okay, this is Brett, Inspector Brett Lysette with FDLE. This is a continuation of the interview of Homestead Police Chief uh, Alexander Roll. Uh, prior to coming back on tape, we played Mr. Roll two parts of a audio recording as it related to Mr. McDonough's complaint. Uh, the first piece that we talked about or that you listened to was there was a portion where he had presented some information about some mm -hmm. negative stuff at Homestead Police right, Department right, right. and you had asked uh, on the tape to go make a copy of it mm -hmm. and I, on the tape you, you went out and I would assume that it was to make a copy. Uh, there was that and then there was uh, at the end of the meeting you had mentioned to uh, Mr. McDonough that uh, asked him what else that you could do for him and that you were going to take a look at this stuff or all the stuff, basically mm -hmm. referring to, I guess, right. His, right, right. His, his stuff. So that just brings me back to our original question. Do you recall after listening to that now, were there documents that he presented to you that you kept, that you looked at, to the best of your recollection? Can you remember? I may have looked at them, but I didn't keep anything. Okay. And as far as making a copy, I didn't make a copy of anything either. Okay. Because I don't make copies. My secretary makes copies. Okay. I don't well... Make would you have gone out and had her make it? I mean, I don't want nah, to split hairs. Would she nah. have made a copy and then given it to you? Well, or? at that time, because I heard that, I may have said, I'm going to make a copy. But when I went out, I didn't want to make copies. Okay. I wanted to look for Tony Aquino. I didn't, I didn't want to make copies. All right, so as it... Do you need to get that? No, no, that's okay. That's so okay. as it relates, let, let me just summarize this piece of it. You recall the meeting? I recall the meeting. That you had with Mr. McDonough? Yes. Uh, you recall that it was about concern issues uh, of an officer here at Homestead yes. Police. You do recall him bringing in paperwork. Yes. But you do not recall keeping any of the no. paperwork that he had he provided. I wouldn't have kept it. If, even if I looked at it, I would have given it back to him because it had nothing to do with Homestead Police Department. Okay. The, the, the stuff that I that I seen. You know? Right. Well, and, and you saw some of the stuff was historical stuff based on one of the officers. I mean, he he referenced some other things in there that mm -hmm. we're not here to get into. But uh, so you you don't recall keeping any of the no, paperwork? No, no. Okay. As a matter of fact, uh, the reason why I recall keeping anything because if I called Detective Keener right now to investigate that, that would have gone with him. Right. I wouldn't kept it because okay. for what reason? I don't investigate stuff. And on top of it, I was thinking when I heard that if he went down with with Tony Aquino to talk to him about the investigation, what was the paperwork? What did he discuss? And when he leave, why did he take the paper with him? I asked for it. Right, now I got you. So, again, the copy part was, you don't recall making no, a copy even though you went out, and the comment of that you'll take a look at the stuff, that, that, that mean, was, that, that was, what that, that mean? That means that I'm going to call the detective down, internal affairs, to look at this stuff, because that's what I do. Perfect. Okay. That's what I do. Um, so, after that, uh, apparently an internal affairs investigation was conducted on his specific complaint. Yes. Um, and we'll talk to the commander later about that. Uh, and eventually, he does a public records request for, for I, I'm sorry, he advised us that he reviewed the IA file. Correct. He alleges that the documentation that he gave to you was not included in that IA file. Right. So therefore, he goes and he does a public records request, and the exact request was on... Um, was date stamped at least by the city clerk on September 5th. And the request was copies of all documentation I gave to Chief Roll on 2-7-2014 regarding my complaint against Officer Magrito. Were you involved, there was a, there was later involved, but did you have anything to do with this initial public records request that you oh, remember? No. no, I had nothing to do with okay. that. Okay. Okay. So now what he does is he receives some information from the clerk's office. We spoke with the clerk and they said right. basically they refer the request to you guys. Yes. Homestead puts whatever right. records together, right. gives it back to her and then she, or the clerk's yes, office, and then they right. send it back to I the... Have, I have a person in charge of Okay. Um, McDonough provided us some emails of going back and forth with the deputy clerk who was responsible for, at the clerk's office, for, for that exchange. Um, and she... Basically, the email was that she said he owed some money, and then he received the documentation. He sends an email back, and it basically, shortened version was, this isn't completely responsive to my request because it doesn't have all the other documentation in it that, I, that he alleges that mm -hmm. he gave to you. Um, he asked the clerk's office to have 
Homestead PD respond to that his concern that I didn't get all the documentation. Right. Uh, they sent back to him that they did a review and that the police department advised there were no additional documents provided on 2714. Do you do you remember anything anybody coming to ask you at least at that point? No, uh, one of my captains told me that he had put in a request and said we had some paperwork of his. And I told him I don't have anything below that. Okay. And, well, and what happens is later is after she sent the initial response saying that you guys didn't have anything, he sends another email back and says, Dear Patricia, who Miss Sullivan at the yes. clerk, and it says, Dear, but was this confirmed by Chief Roll? Chief Roll was the recipient of these documents which were part of my complaint. These are public records. And then uh, she sends back after speaking, I think, with your custodian of records here that they spoke. In fact, we got the email from Captain, is it? Uh, Captain Graham. Captain... Mally Graham, who said that she spoke with you mm -hmm. and Detective Aquino on the morning of September 23rd, and they advised that there was no additional doubt. Do you remember speaking with her about that? Was, that? that was the comment I just made, but she spoke to me about that. I told her I, I didn't have anything. I didn't see anything. And if I did, he would have had it. I, I don't have no reason to keep that paperwork. Louis, do you, do you have anything? No? Okay. Chief, let me, I, I just want to summarize real quick, and I already did a little bit, but now that we're at the end, uh, you recall having a meeting with him talking yes. about the officer? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you recall him bringing in paperwork, but you don't recall keeping any of the paperwork? No, no. I, I, he brought all this stuff in, but keeping this paperwork? Okay. I don't know where it's at. I didn't keep it, and I wouldn't have kept it. Okay. I had no need for it, and I don't know where, where it went. Okay. Do you remember giving any documentation to uh, Commander Aquino? I don't, I don't know. I don't think I did. I think I gave it back to him. I believe I gave it back to him because... Whatever he showed me, or whatever I looked at, or whatever, I, I gave it back to him because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have kept it. And if I made a copy of it, I wouldn't have kept his copy. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't understand where he's coming from. I think he looked for something. It's not there. I don't need to keep the paperwork. I address his complaint with my people, like I always do. I've done that for the 17 years I've been police chief. So whatever he's looking for, you know, he, he's, he's bogged up the wrong tree because I don't... I don't I'm right. Not. Bottom line is, you may have looked at some of the stuff that he have. had, but you did not keep any paper. No, I didn't keep any paper. Okay. And then we talked about, you You recall people talking to you about the public records request, but weren't actively involved in... in oh, no, no, no. I wasn't involved in Okay. My secretary just, I mean, my Captain Graham, she mentioned something to me one day when I was walking out of my office, and I told her that I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have anything belonging to him. His complaint was with IA. I dealt with everything. They let me know what's going on once things was finished, but I don't get involved in none of that. I just want to know, has it been taken care of, and what's the outcome? That's, that's my concern. Do you know what you were referring to at the end of the tape when you actually said, I'll review all this? I probably was, was, was saying that I'm going to give it to Internal Affairs. Okay. Because, you know, that's, that's what we do. Because when, if stuff comes to me, which this is kind of rare, because really I don't really talk I, to these people. Mm -hmm. This guy... Uh, I think I did. A, I may have did a mayor a favor, the, the past mayor a favor, just talk to him, and he comes up here with a tape recorder. I guess he figured he'd been pushed around by everybody, so I guess he wanted to come up here and just, just, just tape me without me even knowing about it. And uh, I, don't, I don't think I gave his plan, but uh, you know, again, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for his paperwork, so. and I didn't keep anything. I didn't keep anything. Chief, I was just going to say, I mean, I don't have any other questions. I don't think Lewis does. Is there anything that we haven't asked you that you think is important, you know, to uh, to what we're looking into our investigation? No, no, no. I just, I'm, I'm just curious about why he would say I kept his paperwork. Mm -hmm. That part bothers me because why would I keep paperwork of him showing me something involving a, a case with another department, if, if that was the case? Mm -hmm. But no, I didn't keep anything. He said, if I did... If I made a mistake and, and, and had it, I would have given it to him before he left here. Right. Well, he, he read, there, was, there was referencing of more documentation about him, the officer, talking about potentially lying on an application about drug use and asking you. I, I, so there was, there was more documentation that you just looked through that was just more about. But, again, yeah. you said you don't remember keeping it. I didn't even, I didn't even look, through, look through all that stuff, you okay. know. Because, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, it's been a long time. I can't remember everything in detail. And I, I can't sit there and say I do. But I, but I do know that I would not keep anything belonging to someone, especially if it's his personal stuff he brought in here. Okay. Unless, unless you, you know, unless it's something we did with the IA complaint he had. And at the time, it wasn't nothing that we needed. 
and I had my guy to, to go with him, whatever his complaint was, whatever he had, you know, give it to us, and, and we'll address it. And I, I, don't, I don't know what, he, I don't think he gave a kill anything either, but that's up for him to tell you that, you know. Well, with that, we'll conclude the interview. The time is approximately 10.55 if, if you don't have anything. Uh, can, I, can I just ask one follow-up? Sure. Yeah. So, when, Chief, when you're talking about the, um, the, the IA investigation, you're saying that the, you have a procedure, you had a procedure in place for if somebody's making a complaint um, that uh, a Kino or, or another one of your officers, will, detectives would... Um, would receive would formally receive the complaint and open up a file. Yes. Okay. So was, that that was never that wasn't your, your responsibility wasn't part of that uh, that process. No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Which is why anything that was brought in here or discussed here was you, you redirected to um, the the standard procedures. That's exactly what I've done for my 17 years. I've been here. I, I would redirect everything to my internal affairs. I don't I don't keep anything on my desk, and I don't and I don't do the investigation. I just wait for the findings, and if it's yay or nay, or positive or negative, I, I, I address it accordingly. That's, that's what I do. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, we'll, uh, if there's nothing else, we'll conclude the interview. The time is now approximately 10.55 a.m. Chief, thank you, sir, for your time.